A metal panel or gutter roll forming machine is a big investment, so you want to make sure you have the support you need in case there are any problems. Portable roll forming machine manufacturer New Tech Machinery has an experienced service team ready to help solve any issues, most of which can be solved right over the phone. In this video, we learn how the NTM service department helps keep your machine rolling. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. When it comes to machinery, there's always an opportunity for it to break down or have to perform maintenance over time, especially when you use it for years and years out in the field on construction sites for your business. So we have the New Tech Machinery Service Manager, Ben Bradley here with us, as well as Adam Mazzella from Sheffield. And we're gonna talk about how the NTM Service Department helps keep your machine rolling. So Ben, tell me a little bit about New Tech Machinery first for those that aren't familiar with the company. Hi, uh, New Tech Machinery is, uh, we predominantly focus on portable roll forming in the uh, gutter industry and also standing seam metal roofing. We have multiple models for the standing seam panel equipment and as well as gutter machines. So tell me a little bit about what the NTM service department does and kind of the whole scope of what you guys offer as a service team. As a service department, we're the after sale support. You know, we, our services range from new machine training in-house or on site at a customer, as well as phone support for you know, minor issues, trying to get through a problem, maybe out in the field on the job site to even trying to do some some video support. We're actually testing some new new product that way to uh, get a bird's eye view of what the machine's doing versus a phone conversation. And then if at the very end, if we if we have to, we can also schedule on-site service, or we also have full capability here at our demo location to bring a machine in uh, for service as well. Yeah, tell me tell me more about the machines for a second, Ben. I know you you make portable roll forming machine equipment. What are some features there? You know, how easy are they to work with? Tell me about that. We design machines to be easily operated, not an overly complicated machine. Controls are easy. Um, that way, pretty much anyone with a little bit of training, reading through the manual, they can operate a machine, start up their own business and be a roofer or a gutter installation. As far as you know, operation, it's a simple control system and a basic, you know, the mechanics of it are not overly complicated, you know, fairly basic. If you have a little bit of mechanical aptitude, they're easy to work on with a little bit of guidance from anyone from my team. So Ben, if someone recognizes a problem with their machine, you know, what, what's the steps in order to get help? Where should they go first? Well, the manual is obviously a good resource just to take a quick look. We have some troubleshooting inside the manual. Maybe it's has something to focus with uh, just installing a different set of tooling, which that whole process is in the manual. So I would go to the manual first. If you still have questions, then reach out to the service department through New Tech and get on the phone and kind of explain what's going on. And then that way we can determine maybe it's just a phone conversation. Maybe we need to get on video or at the end of that conversation, maybe it warrants some kind of visit. I think first steps, just check your manual, give us a call kind of assess over the phone what's going on and then make a decision based on that information. And the manuals are available on your website as well, right? As, as well as a video library and things like that to help. Absolutely. Them. That's another great resource. So earlier you mentioned uh, phone support. And I know that, um, you know, one of the good things about the NTM service department is that you can help many, many problems just right over the phone. Tell me about that. Phone support is a wide range. You know, we can pretty, pretty much address any issue on a machine over the phone. We can address electrical issues, help identify electrical issue, mechanical issue. Maybe it's just a simple adjustment on the profile to make the panel look, look better. We can walk people through that over the phone, um, discuss just how to operate the machine correctly, setting up runout stands, using the limit switch if you have a computer issue, things like that to help get you through that job site issue. Maybe it's not ideal, but we can get you to the end, to end point and then get it addressed. And it sounds like, you know, if you can help people right over the phone, that as long as you have some technical savvy, you don't have to be a mechanical engineer in order to work on these machines. That's correct. Um, like I said, just a little bit of mechanical aptitude, set of wrenches, maybe a few other tools, and 
these machines are easy to work on. We use all standard tools, try to limit it to just a select few. So it's easy to, you know, make a little toolkit that you can have for your machine. Like the gutter machines, we have a toolkit included. So you have everything that you need to get through an issue uh, with the support of NTM over the phone. Dad, I'd, I'd throw in there, it, it really, really is helpful if it's your first time using machine or if you've had machines for years. Uh, take the time to accept the training, to get training on it. That really helps you figure out where all the pieces, parts are in the machine. Really helps you understand how to do changeovers. If you're having shape issues in your panel, that basic upfront training in our experience really at least gives people the framework to where they can operate or or work on the machine if they are having an issue. You know, they, they know where the, the various switches are, the various stations are. Uh, so being accepting of that upfront training um, and really exposing a lot of folks to it. And even if you have had new machines for years and have people that know how to run them, it makes a lot of sense that have those, you know, experienced people with it to train the new people on these various components within the machine. And it, it really helps the troubleshooting uh, get fixed a lot faster down the line if there is upfront training. Now, Sheffield Metals is a distributor, a partner of New Tech Machinery. You know, how does Sheffield work with service and when should someone contact New Tech when it comes to their machine service? As a distributor, I, there's really got to be some upfront basic troubleshooting on Sheffield's part. And that's really what we're trying to do with our technical department. So if we sell a machine or even if we have a customer that has a, a machine that we didn't sell, we try to help them walk, you know, walk them through the, the rudimentary things. Uh, you know, if there's shape issues or if there's computer issues, you know, work with them through the the basic things before we really try to submit a, a trouble ticket on the uh, on the new tech side. On occasion, uh, that's really where you end up, and it, it's really about guiding things to uh, uh, Ben or. Uh, Nate or Brian, and and they've all been fantastic partnering with our customers, um, and that's really what it's all about is being able to get service because the the sale does not end, uh, you know, on the receipt of the machine. That's that's a piece of equipment that should be, if properly maintained, be something that's in service for uh, years yeah. and upwards. I, I've seen machines that are twenty plus years old out there that. Uh, properly maintained, uh, properly serviced. These guys, you know, are able to make money on these machines for for decades. So maintenance is a good point that you made there, Adam. Ben, can you tell me a little bit of just just about some basic maintenance that someone can expect to perform on a new tech machine and how they can learn how to do that? So we'll kind of break it up into gutter versus panel. Start with the gutter machines. You know, smaller machine, a little bit less complicated. You know. Basic daily maintenance is you want to address the shear, lubricate the shear so you have a better cut quality on your on your material. We have some products that um, lubricants that we recommend for that, and all that information can be found in the manual. Um, other as far as gutter machine is keeping the forming rollers clean, keeping the gutter machine clean. Don't want any debris or anything falling down in there. So keeping it covered with the metal covers, A, makes a better gutter, keeps the machine safe, keeps operator safe. Last, uh, you want to keep the chains for the drive system. You want to keep those lubricated and chains tight. So there is a procedure for adjusting those chains. Uh, you can find that in the manual or give us a call. As far as panel equipment, kind of the same general guidelines. You dress the shear daily, keep it lubricated, keep it clean. Um, depending on the model of the panel machine you have, there will be chains in there. You want to keep those lubricated and uh, tight, tightened correctly. As far as um, our other higher end models that have hydraulic systems on them, you wanna, you wanna maintain that hydraulic system, change the fluid and filter once a year, regardless how much you use it, just keep that fresh, clean oil in there and a new filter that protects the hydraulic system. Other than that, like I said, with the gutter machines, you wanna operate that machine with covers on it so nothing's falling into the machine on tooling, forming rollers, drive rollers, don't wanna get any damage there because that could be transferred to your product, which would make a uh, lesser quality product. So keeping the machines clean, keeping the rollers clean, daily lubrication, weekly lubricating and yearly hydraulic oil change. It's, if you keep up on that, those machines will run a long time. What about when it comes to replacement parts? If, if a new part is needed for a machine, does New Tech have a stock of parts? Do you send those out? How does that work? 
Yeah. So again, a phone call, get that conversation going. We can determine what parts needed. Sometimes we have to do a video call or, or some other form, maybe pictures, email to us, just so we're making sure the customer and our service team is talking about the same thing. We have lingo that may be different than um, what the customer calls a certain part. So a lot of time it's just spend a little bit of time just making sure that we're all talking about the same thing. At that point, we have a stock in our uh, Denver facility to support all of our machines. We carry stock for you know the drive systems, the forming rollers, the electrical components, hydraulic systems. Um, you know we can support all of the machines that we've manufactured. Uh, we do have a couple older models that are no longer in production. We have some limited stock on those parts, but we can support parts of the machines. So give us a call. We can we can help you out. Figure something out. Yeah, and I was just about to ask that because there there have been, I mean, there are currently lots of machines out there that have been around for years and decades even. Are those still machines that you guys can work on if needed? Absolutely. So the two main machines are SSP model, which is what um, New Tech started with as far as roof panel machine. Um, that was, over the years, it was a great machine to get started on. It was, you know, had, had its issues, specifically the tooling change process, which took quite a long time. So... New Tech came out with the SSQ, which is um, the next model up, but it's based off of the same machine, just with that different tooling mount system. We can support an SSP, you know, going all the way back from production. All right. Uh, the roller sets, we have made upgrades to the roller roller set. So some of the, any old tooling, we may not have the original, say, forming rollers, but at least we have an upgrade kit to get it up to current standards that we're, that we're producing now. Um, the other machine that uh, is no longer in production is the flush wall machine. So we do we do still support that. We have some parts that we're running low on, but we can you know we'll come up with a solution to try and try and figure it out for you, depending on what it is. But we can you know for the most part we we support on every machine that we've manufactured. What about warranties? Do you do warranty work if something happens? You know after I buy a machine? Yeah. So our warranty is three years. Parts and labor, you know, we'll support that machine as far as providing parts for something that's defective um, if needed. As far as labor to install those parts, we'll support those for three years after that machine is uh, manufactured. So it really kind of depends on the situation, parts needed, timeline. You know, sometimes we even work with a customer that's willing to put the part in and we guide them over the phone, support them through video, through phone. And that's been very successful for us to get that get that customer up and running faster than let's say getting a technician there. So you know, that takes time and you know, sometimes customers don't have time. So we're trying to do whatever we can to get them up and running as fast as possible. So if I'm outside of my warranty period, you know, when does new tech actually start charging for a service? Our warranties are based off of the serial number of the machine. The last four digits of the serial number are the month and year of manufacturing. So we'll base uh, any warranty issue off of that number. And then after that, if we exceed that that date, three years pass, then that's when uh, charges would be incurred by the customer. Um, as far as phone support, to get that initial conversation going and determine, hey, I need service, that's free of charge. The actual charges to the customer is when we actually get, we have to rent a car, get on a plane, going out to the customer, you know, from when the tech leaves the house, that's where that charges occur. So if we get to a point where a customer, hey, I just need you to come out and fix this machine, we'll we'll get a quote, an estimate on time that's going to take, estimate on travel costs, this is going to be a full day, multiple days, and we'll provide a quote, quote to the customer that way they have at least a close idea of what it's going to cost. And then they either, you know, approve that or, or say, you know, I'm going to try and figure it out on my own. It really depends. But initially we get that quote. So they have an idea what it's going to cost, and then then we go from there. Um, we do require a deposit to get that travel uh, scheduling going, and get them on the books. Then those charges are in within that quote. So, so if I'm initiating a service call, you know, what does that look like, and, and what's the process for you guys at New Tech? Yeah, so the best way is to call our main office number three zero three two nine four zero five three eight go through the automated prompt to the service department and either our customer service uh, representative, Bonnie Bliss or Alyssa Neff will be answer the phone. And then they, based on brief conversation of what machine you have, what, what the issue is, will get you to the tech that's available. Um, so we don't, 
we don't have territories where we all work as a group. We all, you know, sometimes we go from one technician to another, just based on, you know, timelines and some are on service, others are not, but we try to work to, as a group to get everybody uh, uh, taken care of. So Ben, how do you guys handle uh, training? So could be, Hey, I've had a machine for years. I got a new guy that I want to get trained or it could be, Hey, I bought a used new tech machine, whether it's a gutter machine or a panel machine on the market. And I want to get trained. Do you guys offer training and, and what does that look like? We do offer training. We offer training with new machine purchases. We do free factory trainings when you come and pick up the machine. So we, we have that on new equipment. We also offer on-site training on new equipment as well. The other side, as far as supporting material or machines that are out there, that have been out in the field for a while, companies that have, you know, employee turnover, we offer really, it's kind of custom tailored to the specific customer. We could do training, how to operate the machine. We can do training, how to maintain the machine, training on, hey, we, we need help adjusting panels. We can do it specific for that. Or, hey, how do we service the machine? Let's do a let's do a service slash training session to where they have an employee kind of shadow our technician, get the general idea, hey, you need to look for this, you need to look for that. So it's really, we can kind of custom tailor training based on what the customer is, is looking for. But as far as machines, we can, we'll do training on every, all machines that we manufacture. So we're here in 2021, early 2021, and it, this is a special year for new tech. Ben, tell me more about that. Uh, 2021 is 30th anniversary for new tech machinery uh, producing. We spoke earlier, we started off with the gutter machines and the SSP model, and we've grown to five, six different panel machine models, a couple different uh, gutter machines in various sizes, uh, even a large in-plant uh, wall panel machine. So 30 years have been, you know, a lot of changes, a lot of growth. Look to continue that growth and support customers, and we are very grateful to all the customers that have supported us over the years. So thank you. Well, Ben, congratulations. Thank you so much for being here on Q&A Mondays. Thank you, Adam, for being here as well. Comment down below if you have any questions at all and check out newtechmachinery.com for more on new tech machines. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett and we'll catch you next time.